Hi there! Well today I'm going to work with these two pieces of fabric and I'm going to make these lovely little books. They're concertina books and they're just right to go in my sewing themed journal. I've added some embroidery pictures. So please join me while I show you how I've made them. Well, to start off with, I'm going to need four pieces of card for each um, little booklet. Now, you could use uh, the playing cards that we decorate, but these are going to be completely covered, so I'm just going to use some cardboard. And I want the card longer than wide, I don't want it square, so I'm measuring three inches, or maybe, maybe three and a half inches, and this card is it's going to be two and three quarters by the time I've cut it out, because I'll cut that edge off. So I'm going to cut four of those out and then we'll continue. Okay, that's the card cut out. So I've got two for the front and two for the back. So I'm going to cover mine with fabric. Now you could, let's say if you used altered playing cards, you could decorate them or you could just cover it with paper, um, just paint it, do whatever you like on, on the front or just use some of your art cards. For this, because I'm, it's going in my sewing journal, I'm going to use fabric. So I've got this fabric, which I've cut out just slightly bigger than the card and I'm going to glue it down with some fairly strong glue just like that and then the second card when that's covered which I might cover with just some paper will seal it on the back there so we'll have a covered front and a covered back. But before I do that I'm going to slip paper in between so I'll, I'll show you that stage. But I'm just going to go away um, because uh, and glue this piece on. But before I do that I'm just going to consider what I want it to look like on the front because this is fabric. Um, I'm probably going to sew a couple of buttons on there so I'll do that before I stick it down. Um, the other thing I could do if I use if I'm using this is I could put a little pocket, stitch a little pocket on the back. And so I need to do think about the decoration, um, mark out how it's going to be glued, and then think about what I want to put on. So I'm sort of doing this as I go along. I've seen lots of these little notelets on YouTube but this is just my interpretation so I'm sort of making this one up as I go along. So I say I'll, I'll do some decoration on the front of these and then when I've done that I'll glue this side down and then I'll come back and show you. One little extra point. I having looked at it I think I'm going to do some stitching around the edge as well on the machine just to give it some definition. So on the back I've just marked where the card will go and then if I stitch around that edge I know that's going to be within my my cover side so and I'm going to pick a colour Bring these out maybe green on this one 
maybe a dark brown on this one. So we'll see we'll see how that looks. Right, well I've finished that bit of sewing. So I've sewn around the edge of the pencil line that I made and then I've put a little pocket on with a bit of lace on that one. This one I've added I, I did the line around and I have the threads going this way to look like it's been stitched and I've put a couple of buttons on and I use some wool thread just to put those on just to give the um, thread a bit of colour. I was going to put a button on here and I could pick I don't know how many buttons to go on here but I hadn't a job to find something to go on there. I hope you think I've picked the right ones. Um, I did have these sort of antique looking ones and I did like that one but anyway I'll be making lots more no doubt and I'm not sure whether to put a button on there. I think I'll wait and see what it looks like on the card. So all I've got to do now is, and I've got an edge so that's quite nice with the stitching, is to stick this onto the card. Some Fabri-Tac or all around neatly and let that dry. So I'll go away and do that. And then I need to make the paper to go inside. So I've cut a strip of this paper to go in this one just to complement the colours there. And I've folded it to the card size. So I've folded that up and then I've made a concertina type this is going to be a small one just to go in one of my um, needle books. Um, but for this one, going in the sewing journal, I wanted a more vintage looking. Um, so I use the paper that I get from the wallpaper lining paper. And I'm going to stick cards on here, sort of, and images. I made rather a mess folding it, so I'm going to iron it flat a bit and then ink up the edges. And then when I've stuck that down, this will go in here. So I'll go away and do those bits and then we'll come back and see how I fit it all together. Okay, well, I've been fiddling about with these. As you can see, I've put the stitching on lengthways on the back and it's uh, going from top to bottom on the front. Now I tried several ways of putting the fabric um, and I've come up with this masking tape because it's onto cardboard. Now you may not think this is going to be strong enough but actually I use this method on card like this to make a the inside of a jewellery box when I was 11 and that's over 50 years ago I think yes <laughs> and uh, the jewellery box is still going <laughs> so um, I feel sure it's going to be fine so um, I've got two pieces of card that are just slightly um, smaller and I'm either going to glue those down or put some double sided tape on them. I haven't decided on that yet. I've got to just push some of the tape back. So that's my next job just to fit the backing. Now it doesn't really matter about, um, I, mean, I don't want it to be on that side, um, but a plain backing or you could paint it or have a coloured backing because you're going to be sticking the paper onto it so it's 
not much of it's going to be seen. So um, you can decide on what you want. I say hardly any of it will be seen in the end. So okay, I'll go and do that. I uh, just wanted to show you how I'd fastened the back of them. So I decided on the double-sided tape. I added some tissue paper to the back of the card because the card was a little sort of grey and I think that with the paper on it will look quite nice. And I inked up the edges. I put that one on with the double sided tape and that's gone on quite nicely. So I put one, two, three, four strips on. So I hope this goes on as well as the last one did. So I'm just sort of lining it up. about it. Cotton there. So there we are, nicely, nicely sealed. So we've got our end pieces made. Very pleased with those. I'm just going to ink up the edges on the paper and then we'll stick those down. Okay, well we're getting there. We've um, added that. I've, I've ironed this and put um, some uh, ink around the edges and I also cut out some pictures just to go in the little booklet. And then on the other side. So now all that remains to be done is to glue this edge to here and then glue the back edge to this this side. So I'll just do that in a minute. I'm just going to use a glue stick and I'll give it a good time to dry before using it. So there are so many possibilities with these little books for junk journals and all different themed ones. I'm definitely going to do some more. So and then this is the back edge. Might be a little bit more fiddly. Put my glasses on.
There we are. That's all in there nicely. Plenty of journaling space. And I've made a little tie. So I put a loop on that edge and then that will wind around. Do it a couple of times. I've just put a little charm on the on the bottom. And it's the same thread as I use for sewing the buttons. So that'll keep that nice and together. So I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm going to put the other one together and then I'll come back and show you how they look. Okay, well the the light's going a little bit now, but I finished these little um concertina notes. Now this one's got a little pocket, so I put a tag in there and a ribbon round. This is smaller. Because it's going into one of my needle needle books. But the thing about them is that you if you wanted them larger, if you'd used all the pages, you can always cut them and then add more pages. So that's uh the other thing I thought about is that I could glue the ribbon um, or the tie I want to use underneath you know, when I'm using the double sided tape so that I have a tie either side but um, for the moment I've just used a ribbon round there and then I wanted this one to have a a little uh, thread tie so so I'm really pleased with them. I haven't put any um, pictures or anything on the pages in that one. I've just left it to um, plain for now. But I hope you like them. And if you do, please come back, press the subscribe button, and we'll see you again next time for some more crafting.